Hey everyone, it's Matt here aka Tech Ranger, and today we are going to look at a graphics mod which I've been using pretty much exclusively as my main texture mod, and that is Skyland. And there's actually a whole suite of mods of Skyland. Certain cities like Whiterun, Markarth, Winterhold, Solitude, I believe there's more in the pipeline coming. But for one of the biggest ones in this suite of mods is the Markarth one. And I thought this video would be kind of like an example for people to look at whether or not you really want to download this or not. Now these are 2K textures, so they are going to be really nice and sharp depending on what TV you have. But this mod is also over 200 meg. It's kind of a big asking price if you don't have the best internet in the world or if like Bethesda has another issue with mods where you're unable to uninstall and then install quickly because there's an operation cannot be completed you know it might be good to know what this looks like before you try and download it so if you want to see what the skyland version of markarth is all about watch as i go through some different areas and show you the differences between the vanilla game and the markarth version of skyland couple things I want to mention before we get started is that I do have surreal lighting on which is a lighting mod that might hit light on the stonework and stuff and make it look a little bit different than it actually is and I also have the Skyland the main mod so some of the textures might be from that as well one of the biggest changes for me other than resolution is the stonework so pay attention to that in the video the vanilla has kind of a much more muted tone whereas Skyland has a more like fantastical approach And then that travels into when we jump in the main castle area as well. And we kind of go back into the, I guess, kind of bowels of the castle somewhat and kind of get into the Dwemer section. And you can see kind of a stark contrast between the two. And then especially when we get to this kind of left-hand side area, I really like the look of Skyland Markarth here. The detail is really nice here and shines. And the throne room with all the stonework again looks really good. As we move outside, you'll notice the water has a different color. Don't worry, that's the Skyland watercolor mod. It's actually just an add-on to the Realistic Water 2 mod, but I figured I'd use Skyland since I'm using it for the city. And then we'll move underground, but then we'll also go into the shops, and we can see kind of the darker, not so bright stonework of Vanilla Markarth, and then compare it with the kind of brighter, more lively look of Skyline Markarth. And I really like the differences here in the shops, and I think that's going to carry on to when you get deeper into the Dwemer Mines of Markarth. The standout, again, is the rock work. I think it's pretty phenomenal. How much it brightens every room up, and it really is a cool look to the uh, city of Markarth. So, shout out to the mod author if you ever watch this. I don't know if you will, but it, great job. Like, I really like this one. I will go into the other Skyland City mods if you guys would like me to, and then if you do want me to, let me know if there's anything I can improve on on this video. I kind of, instead of going clip by clip and recording voice, I rather just kind of talked over everything, and if it, that didn't work out for you or if you didn't like it, just let me know in the comments. I don't want to keep you here for too long, so if you guys haven't subscribed already, definitely do that. If you like Skyrim mod videos, follow up for mod videos, definitely feel free to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.